Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I have an unboxing and quick look at this Lather Whip shaving brush. I got this to review. I've been wanting to try another one. I've been wet shaving for a little over a year, and this was my uh, first brush, which gets the job done, but it was like $5 at just a beauty store. It was the only place I could find one. I believe this is a boar hair, and this is a badger hair, which is supposed to be nicer. There's pros and cons to both, but that will be up to you to decide which one you like. But I'm just going to unbox this. Not much to look at. It is made in China, but I believe most badger hair brushes, even of high quality, are still, at least the knot comes from China. Nice looking package. And you can see the brush in here. It would be nice, I believe, the lather whip. I think they also sell a uh, a shaving stand that holds your razor and brush and it's lined in foam. It'd almost be nice if they did that with this so you could use this as like a carrying case because it's pretty sturdy. A nice piece of foam would keep it from sliding around but that's pretty much a nitpick but would be neat. Or you could put your own in there and reuse this. So the brush itself is very soft which is what I'm looking for. This comes right off. Uh, I think maybe, I don't think any bristles have come, oh yes, yeah, there's a few. Uh, when you get a brush that's really normal, especially a badger hair brush, they're lighter. Not too many have come out so far, I'm obviously going to rinse it in water and, you know, work it out, but that was a complaint that some people said some were coming loose. If that was a problem, you can contact the seller. And from what I've read, he seems to be pretty good to people and can definitely uh, work something out. But compared to this one, they're about the same in height. This one, this one's obviously been used for a year. It's bore, and it has softened up a little bit, but it's very stiff. And this one, it has some backbone too, definitely further down toward the knot, but it's much softer, which I'm really, that is what I want. And obviously the handle was, it's very, well compared to this it's heavy, but it's nice and weighty compared to this hollow. And this is like a solid wood, I assume, very nice finish. So the, I mean the quality is the huge difference. I'm really glad I got to receive one of these to review because uh, badger brushes tend to cost a good bit more. You're looking at usually at least $30 up to hundreds, obviously depending on the quality. When you have one for $5 that works, it's kind of hard to justify getting another. But this one just is so soft, I can't wait to try it out. I would be interested in trying a synthetic, so it would be cool if they started manufacturing synthetic ones because I think this is a leather, leather whips only uh, brush they're offering time. I'd also like to try one of those larger ones that are just like huge that they'll cover the side of your full side of your cheek. And so I'm going to go get my uh, shaving soap and let, let this soak in some water, get some of the loose bristles out and then put it in some shaving, shaving soap and see how it lathers up. I think it'll do great. Okay so I let the brush uh, sit in a cup full of hot water for about 10-15 minutes and I let the uh, shaving soap here bloom a little bit. Normally I'd dump it out and put it on my face, but I just dumped it in the sink, so I'm not going to apply this. I do have to say, I knew this was going to smell bad being off of an actual animal. They, I think just no matter what one you buy, no matter how expensive they are, going to smell if they're a genuine uh, badger or boar. Uh, when I first took it out of the packaging, it was pretty mild. It pretty much smelled like chemical, but I think that's actually the scent of this box when I when this was wet when I it just smelled absolutely horrible and it still does smell really really bad even the cup I had the water in turned a little darkish so they even tell you that but I think anyone that's bought a brush knows that but if not they the seller leaves you instructions to you know rinse it out and then before you use it they want you to mix it in your shaving soap let it soak overnight and maybe even do it a few times if the scent still bothers you and then it hopefully by then will uh, wear off some and then of course the more you use it it'll eventually like this one pretty much even dry still has a little bit of the soap scent in it just from being used so much so 
I really wanted to try it out today, but I don't know if I will or not if I want to smell like a animal or not. It pretty much smells like if you've been to a petting zoo or fair, like just the, all the animal pens, all the dirty hay smashed together would smell like this, but it's not really a knock on the brush. Any brush would smell like that as soon as you get it. One thing I can say is just from soaking this one and letting it fan out, it fans out much more than this boar one, and it's much softer. It doesn't have as much backbone, though, especially once it gets wet. It, it kind of droops a little bit to where this one stays stiffer, but I don't like the feel of this one as much on my face. I don't think it's as good for painting because it's too stiff and kind of wants to almost take the soap back off your face to where I think this will be more lighter and spread the soap better. Let me try this out now. I mean, it's definitely not as stiff, but it is. You can see it's kind of the brush is kind of smashing, but it's still picking up the lather just fine. See if I can just get some of the excess off there. I'm no expert at this, I just do it so it works for me and that's good enough. Maybe one day I'll master my craft, but it definitely fills up nicely. Probably will hold more just having so many more bristles compared to the boar. It feels really nice on my hands, I can just imagine on my face it would feel like to just basically work it in and then kind of paint it, smooth it out feels really nice. feels a lot heavier, so I think it's going to just overall hold more than the uh, boar. A lot of people prefer the boar, but I think I'm going to prefer badger. And like I said, there's those ones that are just huge that have the, I think I sound like Trump, they're huge with the uh, silver tip, and they're just, uh, just enormous. I'd like to try something like that, but then people prefer the boar. I think this is a nice happy medium. It's soft, but it's still stiffer than those ones. That's The seller actually says that's why they use this size knot and this uh, badger, uh, I don't know if you'd call it fur or whatever, but this is what they went with. Just, they said it was the best in between to use. This still has plenty of, I mean, play over your face a few times and you can always pick up more, but this holds a lot, so. I'm going to rinse it out, maybe do this again, hopefully uh, use it, and if I have any problems, I'll get back to you, but I think it's going to be just fine. As far as bristles, like those maybe 10 I lost at first, and then uh, washing it, I don't think I lost very many at all. So some people said they were losing a lot, maybe they got a defective one, maybe some people were too rough on it, but so far I've pretty much lost less than 20, and this is brand new, so first time if you lose just that few just the first time and nothing more has come out even though I've been pretty rough with it then I think this is going to hold up just fine so here it is again uh, lather whip hopefully they'll come out with a few uh, different styles and things because I'll be more than happy to try them so thanks for watching and have a good one